Assalamu alaikum guys, yes indeed it is a follow up video to my previous one where I talked about Sheikh Google Uddin declaring Mirza Masroor of the Qadiani movement as the fifth caliph of Islam. I thought and a lot of people were telling me that Google had changed their answer but I searched it up again this morning and again Mirza Masroor is back at it on their site. So I don't know maybe for some people it's gone to Hassan bin Ali radiallahu an. for some people it's still Mirza Masroor. Okay guys so my previous video, those of you that know me will know it took an immense amount of restraint from my side. I was very well behaved, I chose my words very carefully. Yes, uh, with the memes that's where the comedian in me came out, but had the Qadianis just kept to themselves, not given me attention, I would have just gone about my business. But the worst thing to do to a comedian is give them that attention that they so desire and that's what you guys have done. That's why now nah, I'm afraid I have to follow up with another video. Guys Surah Fatiha we recite it at least 17 times a day. It's probably one of the most easiest of the surahs because it doesn't have the main tajweed rules in there you know idgham, ikhfa, qalqala, ghunna but you do have to pay special attention to the makhraj yeah where, where the sound of the letters is emanating from but of course that's done in the early years yeah. But I found this clip of the quote unquote caliph, the new caliph and he was reciting Surah Fatiha and I thought let's react to this together. <laughs> It's an interesting uh, tune that this individual has. Uh, eat your heart out, Abu Bakr al-Shatri. Delete your channels, frankly. Yeah. I have to say in Bismillah, there's two types of ha's, yeah? The flat one, that's ha, and you have the one that comes from your chest, ha. Yes, Bismillah, hir, flat. Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Alhamdulillah. That's a ha, yeah, not a ha. And it sounded like the Allah there, Alhamdulillah, you made mouthful. Allah, if proceeded with a fatah or a dhamma, then it's mouthful. With a kasra, it's not mouthful. Alameen. It's not Alameen, it's Alameen. There's a Ain there. It's not a Hamza or an Alif. Major mistakes happening here with regards to the lettering, frankly, which you don't expect from the Caliph. Ar -Rahman Ar the, again, the Haz. And how did he end it? Himi. If you're doing waqaf, it's him. Yeah. Rahman Rahim. I don't think the meme has a big mud on there. Yeah, the guy is stretching it a lot. Even the Qurra, yeah, they have a line. But this guy has crossed the line so far that the line has become a dot to him. This ra has to be mouthful, yeah, because a ra, if it comes with a fata or a dhamma, it's supposed to be read as mouthful. Anamta alayhim. Yeah, again, again the, with the ains, uh, you're missing them out. If Surah Fatih is a surah that you're supposed to be reciting 17 times a day, how can you still be getting mistakes on it? Especially if you're the caliph. Either you're not reciting your complete salahs in a day, which would be confusing because you're supposed to be an example for the people or you just haven't learnt Arabic and the Quran 
which again is very worrying because your rule is supposed to be in accordance with the Quran which is in Arabic so I'm I'm just confused frankly yeah let's leave it there guys until next time Assalamu alaikum